President Trump has returned from the G7 summit in France, and his takeaway message from the newsy and memorable meeting, flawless unity. Eamon Javers is getting ready to return home. Uh, Eamon, what would you say in terms of how you wrap all of this up? <laughs> Yeah, Becky, look, I mean, this was a much different G7 than we saw last year in Canada. You remember that one ended in frustration. The president tweeting angrily on the airplane on the way out. This time, that flawless unity message, the president tweeting, thank you, France, on the way out the door. This was a president of the United States who was here in France in deal-making mode. Such a contrast between what we saw from the president on Friday to what we saw from him on Monday, the president went out of his way to suggest uh, that he was willing to negotiate with the Chinese and to suggest that the Chinese were willing to negotiate with him. We went a little bit around and around yesterday on this issue of phone calls, never quite got to the bottom of that. But nonetheless, the president sending positive signals to the market and to the Chinese government that he's ready to get back to serious negotiating. The Chinese have sent another signal back to the United States today saying uh, they'd like the U.S. to stop its quote, wrong actions before they get down to negotiating. But the rhetoric continues to improve on that from where we were on Friday. Uh, on the Iran issue, another bit of a thaw, perhaps, there. The president signaling that he'd be willing to meet with Hassan Rouhani, uh, the leader of Iran, even as the foreign minister of Iran was actually here in France during this session. The president putting out the idea that he's willing to float some loans to the Iranians for uh, lines of credit secured by Iranian oil to get them back on their feet economically if they do come to the negotiating table. So maybe an opening there as well. And then finally on the issue of Russia, Vladimir Putin not here in France this time, guys, but ultimately a big subject of discussion as the president wants to make the G7 the G8 again. You remember that Russia was kicked out of the G8 back in 2014 because of the annexation of Crimea. The president says that was simply Vladimir Putin outsmarting Barack Obama. He'd like Russia to be back in. Not clear that that idea met with a lot of enthusiasm from the other world leaders here in France, but nonetheless, the president in deal-making mode on that front as well, Becky. So a whole lot going on here, but now it's all over. The diplomats are gone, and this beach town gets back to what it does best, which is tourism and swimming.